What's quickest in a drag race? A Ferrari 296 GTB, a McLaren 765 LT, or a Porsche 911 991 GT2 RS? Well, we're going to find out because I'm going to race them over the standing quarter mile. Because I'm Matt Watson, and you're watching Car Wow. Buy, sell, Car Wow. Now let me tell you about this Ferrari. It has a three liter twin turbo V6 mated to an electric motor that drives the rear wheels only via an eight speed dual clutch automatic gearbox. It has 830 horsepower and 740 newton meters of torque and it weighs in 1.5 tons, though that's dry weight because that's what Ferrari quotes, not din. If it was din, it was probably 1.6, 1.7 tons. Anyway, price of this car, 240,000 pounds. The McLaren is the most expensive car here. It costs 280,000 pounds. It has a four liter twin turbo V8 that pumps out 765 horsepower, as the name says, and 800 Newton meters of torque. Drives the rear wheels via a seven speed dual clutch gearbox. That car weighs 1.3 tons, and that is normal like din weight, so some fluids and a driver. Finally, we come to the Porsche. It has a 3.8 litre twin turbo flat six that puts out 700 horsepower and 750 Newton meters of torque, drives the rear wheels via a seven speed dual clutch automatic gearbox, and that car weighs 1.5 tons. That's a proper weight as well. Price of that, £210,000 when new, but worth about £300,000 easily now. Anyway, before we race, I just want to say a huge thanks to the people that have lent us their cars. Go follow them on Instagram or YouTube or whatever. Really helps us out to get more cars in future. So go check them out. Links are in the description as well. Oh, speaking of which, if you're thinking about selling your car and you want to do it the easy way, just use CarWow. Now to do that, just click on the pop-out banner up there, follow the link in the description below. All you have to do is upload some photos, give a brief description, then dealers all across the country will bid on your car. You then just accept the highest offer. And they'll come to your house, take the car away, put the money in your account. It's dead easy. Now, if you want to do that at a later date or you want to tell your friends and family about it, just simply Google, help me car wow, and we will help you sell your car. Let's speak to our guest drivers. The first is Yanni. Young Matthew, I'm very well, pal, very well. Am I in a pink car or an orange car? It's kind of peachy, isn't it? I'm gonna go with like an, an orange color. I quite like it though, do you? It's actually not bad. I'm not the biggest McLaren fan, but this is quite nice to be fair. It's actually, um, it's the bad boy, 765LT. So yeah, it's quite nice. And that car is quick. I know it's really, really quick. So it's gonna be interesting to see how quick this Ferrari is. Do you think the Porsche is gonna stand a chance, Yanni? I don't think so. You do have young Daniel there and he's got like the aero on the rear wheels. So it might go a little bit faster, but I don't think so. I think it's between you and me. Well, we're gonna find out, never underestimate a Porsche. And yes, we've got a German YouTube presenter, Daniel is in the car. So how you doing, Daniel? I'm having a lot of fun. I'm in one of my all time favorite cars. How are you feeling about the steering wheel being on the right side? And by the right side, I mean the correct side as well. It's not so much the steering wheel, it's the, the gear shifter. I screwed up already. It's just like writing with my left hand. It doesn't make sense. Listen, I come to your country and other European countries and I drive left hand drive cars all the time. Don't hear me complaining. You better shut up and get on with it. Wait, is that a manual car? Is he driving a manual? No, it's not a manual, it's an automatic, but it's just got a gear shifter like a manual car. I don't know why they do, it's ridiculous. Isn't it ridiculous, Daniel? I, well, maybe I'm embarrassing myself. I think it's really cool. You're just being German biased, aren't you? Let's move on. <laughs> if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to turn your notifications on. And if you haven't subscribed to our German YouTube channel and you're German, there's a link in the description. In fact, follow the pop-out banner up there, yeah? And go subscribe there, then come back and finish watching the race. In fact, you can see the race from Daniel's perspective over on the German channel. So maybe watch that instead. No, don't, watch them both. Anyway, click on all the ads, blah. <laughs> now before we race, let's do the customary car wave sound check. I'm gonna rev up this car. Oh my God. Oh, this engine sounds awesome. My car sounds awesome. Let's hear your car, Yanni. Oh, this revs all the way up. Yeah, where's your red line? Mine's like eight and a half. Mine's just over seven. So I win that so far. Let's have a listen to the Porsche. Does that even rev up? Is that revving up? Is it revving up? Yes, a lot. I, like, I can barely hear myself. And did it rev all the way up to the red line? Yes, it does. Wow. Wow. I think they stopped that with turbocharged Porsches. Oh well, I suppose it's a GT2 RS. Right, shall we stop all this nonsense and get on with the race? Does anyone want to say yes, let's do that? 
Not really. <laughs> Let's race. Put that power down, come on. Come on. Come on. Yes. Come on. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Just cut. Wow, this part's fast. That was like really close off the line. I think I was ahead, it was doing well, and it just said engine system problem. That was going so good as well. What happened? You broke down? Yeah, it's in a Ferrari on me. It's just didn't like accelerating. You know, Ferraris aren't designed for going quick. My first gear wasn't great. Second gear and then third gear I was flying, but I was a bit concerned, but you broke down, so I won. That's one nil to me. No, I've got an engine warning light. Doesn't like it. Bloody Ferraris, not Lambos, are they, mate? Okay. We've turned the car off and on again and cleared the fault. Seems to be fine. Will it be though? Let's find out. Three, two, one. Good launch. No way. Oh, it's going so well. No, it's just tripped out again. Here we go. Hybrid system's just tripped out. It's fine again. Thanks, Ferrari. I had the same problem. It just like accelerates like a demon and then it just goes, nah, not having any of that and just trips out. I think it's the launch control thing. I think it's the launch. I'm gonna have to just launch it without launch control, if that makes any sense. Yeah, I think even without launch, you're gonna take me, bro. You were, you, were, you were starting to pull on me. What is it doing? Silly little Italian brain is getting confused by all the acceleration and the hybridiness. I just wanna show you something before I launch it without launch control. So here's my specialist timing gear here. You can see that it did a 3.22 to 60 miles an hour with launch control and it hadn't cut out by that point. So that's a good launch. So I'm gonna launch it without launch control. As long as I'm close to that number, I know that it's a fair launch, even if I don't use launch control. Three, two, one. Come on. That's actually better. Didn't use launch control and it actually launched better and I won. But you're coming back, Yanni. That's fast, mate. That looked really fast. I don't think this launched as well as it could have, but I think even if I've got the best launch on the planet, mate, I don't think I'm catching you. Porsche, Daniel, how are you? I'm just happy. This this car is just fun. And I was actually ahead uh, of Yanni for, at, at the start, at the beginning. I'm, I don't care about the result. I'm just having fun here. Shall we try it again? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Dan looked like he was having a lot of fun over there. And when I saw him in front of him, I was like, yeah, let's not do that. I'm just going to show you this again. 3.11 to 60. So that was better than with launch control. And the actual quarter mile time, 10.4. Three, two, one. That was an even better launch. Come on! So close. Come on! So close. Come on, Ferrari! Go on, how was that for you? Did you catch me on the line? I'd like to think I didn't jump, and I think I beat you off the line. Yeah, that's just fast, man. That, that, that car is fast. Yeah, and that was my best launch yet. Really, really, really good. This is no slouch though. I'm on a 765LT, yeah, this is no joke. But yeah, I'm, I'm impressed with that. I'm really impressed.
I think I won best two out of three. Definite win for the Ferrari. Well, two out of three when it ran properly. Yeah, <laughs> forget the failed start. <laughs> Daniel, in the Porsche, how was that for you? Yeah, this time the launch control didn't really want to do what I wanted, so it felt like it cut the power, so my start this time wasn't as good. Oh, well, it's irrelevant. You're going to get beaten, yeah. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. It don't matter. Three, two, one. So quick, come on. Come on. This is so fast. Here comes the McLaren now. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes. Well, I think that's it. It's so close, but I had you on the line for sure. I'm going to be honest with you, Matt. I'm not a McLaren fan at all. This is really, really nice, man. Wow, this is, this is special. This is a really nice car to drive. Daniel, how was it for you? Oh, I'm just running a race for my own, you know, fun. Was that launch better than the last time, though? Yeah, much better. This was really good. I think that is it. That's a win to the Ferrari. So then what exactly happened? Well, the Ferrari won, completing the standing quarter mile in 10.2 seconds. The McLaren finished second with a time of 10.3 seconds and the Porsche came last. It crossed the line in 10.6 seconds. Okay, now we have a rolling race from 50 miles an hour. Cars are in their like chilled mode. I'm in hybrid mode and automatic modes for the gearbox. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. God, what's this doing? Whoa! I hardly kicked down, I'll get destroyed. That's comfort mode. What the? Okay, in hybrid mode, this is just so chilled. Um, Daniel, you beat the Ferrari. Matt, this car is so loud, I can barely hear my own thoughts. You beat the Ferrari. Are you very, very happy? Yes, I thought you had a breakdown. I had a nervous breakdown because this thing, you know, I just floored the throttle and it stayed in like electric only mode for a while. Then the engine got on it and I was off eventually. But do you know what? When you're in hybrid mode, you don't have full power. You have to be in qualifying mode in this car for full power. Don't think it's the same with those two. Even if you're in like comfort, they'll give you full power. So what I'm going to do now is go into qualifying mode and we'll do the same thing again, okay? Yeah, no, that was really good for me as well. Yeah, thanks for asking, Matt. Um, yeah, great, Dan. Okay, brilliant, cheers. Did you win? <laughs> Mate, for me, it took, it took an eternity to drop down and then it flew and I had to look down to make sure I was in comfort mode because it was so fast. Okay, same thing again from 50. I'll call it in. Sportier setting though, auto for the gearbox. Things will be different now, guys. Three, two, one, go. Freaking hell. Come on! Race to the half mile, he's coming. It's a quick pass. Now this is tripped out. Oh, hey, hey. Here we go. This played up then, it just like cut power. Uh, you were coming past me to be fair, but it cut power. Mate, you actually lose your breath in this car because it's so fast. Daniel, did you beat me? No, I had no chance this time. Okay, right. Let's try it again. Um, hopefully this car won't cut power right on the line, um, but do it manual mode. Okay, let's do it. Rolling race, full sport mode, 50 mile an hour, third gear. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Oh, the boost on this. The boost is so good from that electric motor. Here comes the McLaren again. No, I've got him, I'm going to hold him. No, it did the thing again. Hybrid system fail. Mate, did it fail just before the line? I was going to have you to the line then, but it did this thing where, I think it's the inverter, that it just gets overwhelmed with the power surge or what have you, where it's providing electricity to the electric motor, and it just goes, nah! And it just cuts power for a split second. I would have beaten you there. 
on the third gear roll on because it picks up so good. Yeah, I saw you put your hand up just before the cones and I'm like, oh, no way. Okay, let's see what we're going to do then. Brake test from 100 miles an hour. If you'd rather watch it on the drag race, click on the pop-out banner and they'll find the link in the description below. If not, stay with me because here comes the line. We're going to do a full emergency stop. Bloody hell, that is some margin. Yeah, I mean, the Porsche are pretty much the same, but that's, yeah. <laughs> Daniel, which one between the Porsche and the McLaren? It kind of looks like the Porsche is still better. Yay, Porsche won something. I'm happy about that. <laughs> hey. <laughs> anyway, huge thanks to the guys who have lent us their cars. Really appreciate it. You go check them out, follow them on Instagram, follow them on YouTube or wherever. Really helps us out. And if you're thinking about buying a performance car, right, then click on the pop-out button up there for the link in the description below because I found one on CarWow. You'll find out what the car is and what the deal is. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like. Let me know which of these three cars you'd rather have by voting in the pinned comment. Click on those windows there for some more videos. And on that box there to go to CarWow to sell your car. Just upload photos, give a brief description, then dealers all across the country will bid on your car. It's easy. Thanks for watching.